It's beer o'clock on Riedel Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Malta, from an independent Maltese company. It's by Farsons Limited, and this is their blue label. Uh, Farsons Classic Brew since 1928 on the island of Malta. 4.7% ABV, 330 milliliter bottle. I want to say a massive thank you to the wonderful Neil Long who was kind enough to send me this beer. Thank you very much, Neil Long. Uh, the famous original recipe. There you go. So you've even got that kind of independent family brewers bottle cap there. What's really interesting about this company is the fact that they've stayed independent. They're the same company that make the number one selling lager in Malta, which is called Sisk. And that's very rare for a country, for a country's number one selling lager to still be independent. That's a very, very rare thing in this day and age. Normally it's by one of the big boys, Heineken, Carlsberg, Stella Artois, Anheuser Busch, you know, that, that, so InBev. Those sort of great big companies, Molson Coors, you know, they normally have that stranglehold on a country's number one selling beer, but not in Malta, not in Malta. It's still a, it's a, they call themselves these days a food and drinks distributor. So uh, we got a one finger slightly off white head. Uh, we got slow moving carbonation rolling through the glass. Looks a lovely amber ale to be honest with you. As you roll that beer around in the glass, you can see that carbonation chasing the head up the glass. It's a there's a tiny bit of haze going on in there. Um, it's a quality beer. Good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Yes, there's a bit of biscuitiness in it, there's a bit of breadiness, there's a bit of kind of berry fruit flavour coming through. A little bit spicy, a little bit peppery. Honey. I'm picking up quite a lot of honey from the aroma. It smells good. It smells really good. Let's uh, dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's not bad, that. It's not bad at all. It's very biscuity. It's very bready. Lots of nuttiness coming through. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. There's definitely honey coming through. There's a nice little bitterness on the back end. I mean, really, if I'm perfectly honest, I think, and I think it's a massive important part of the beer drinking experience, is where you are when you're drinking this. Now, this beer's from Malta, of course. I've been to Malta in the summer. It's a beautiful, hot, fantastic Mediterranean country just off the kind of Italian coast there. So fantastic summers there. And I can just imagine a freezing cold glass, maybe not freezing cold, maybe this temperature, it's probably about six or seven degrees today out here. So a nice cold Farsons blue label, but in the Maltese heat, being in Malta, I think that would make a massive difference to the beer. It's very nice. It's very nice, but I don't think my cold January conservatory is really doing this beer justice. I've done it before myself. I've been to Spain for argument's sake, and I've drunk San Miguel, the export stuff, the stronger stuff, the... 5.4% ABV, I believe it is. I sat there in Spain drinking that beer <coughs> in the heat on draft 
and it goes down quite nicely. I've gone around the shop and I found some San Miguel exports and I brought it here to drink and review and it's a bit like you're not drinking it in its setting where it's supposed to be drunk and I think that makes a massive massive difference again I'll say it one more time if I was in the multi sunshine with some grilled chicken looking out over maybe the beach on a hot beautiful Mediterranean day I think this would go down a lot better It's not going down bad now. It's a very nice beer. If you were to push me as to what this beer tastes like, it's probably a little bit like Bishop's Finger, a lighter version of Bishop's Finger or a better version of Marston's Pedigree. It's got a bit of a rich, creamy mouthfeel, this. You can see you can see why they've kind of found this original recipe and they're still brewing it to the original recipe because I think they found something really good here. I think when they they first brewed this beer and it was probably a massive sales success in Malta they probably decided to stick with that kind of same initial recipe. And you can do that when you're an independent brewer and you have the monopoly of a of a small island if people are still buying it you wouldn't change the recipe would you why would you change something that's really good why would you decide to do that so they've stuck with it they've stuck with this really good recipe I like that I really like that uh, Simmons Farson Sisk that's the name of them now so, quick story, um, Farsons was the original brewery in Malta. Then they had a rival from the UK. They were, uh, um, not a rival, but I think they kind of bought into each other. It was called Simmons Brewery in Reading. They kind of interlinked, they kind of bought into each other and became quite a big company. But then there was another company, uh, the, the Malta Export Brewery, I think they were called, um, that made Sis Lager and they were granted a license to produce German style Bavarian lagers in Malta so there was a rivalry going on for 20 years in Malta over this but then after 20 years they decided to probably because it was kind of a, a risk of one of them being bought out by Heineken or Imbev or someone like that so they decided to merge the two companies and become the largest drinks company in Malta. That's no mean feat to stand here in 2023 and say you're still an independent brewer in Malta without the likes of Heineken getting their terrible hands all over you. Um, that's no mean feat, it really is. So I'm ready to rate this. I really like it. Really, really like it. Look at that beer. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. Thank you very much to Neil Long for sending. That's really decent stuff, that. Really decent stuff. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.